In this video, we are going to be playing with the sound files in MATLAB. As you heard in the intro, we are going to be playing with the sound files in MATLAB. For that, we need a voice recording. In this video, we are going to be playing with the sound files in MATLAB. So this is the file that we are going to be playing with. With the audio info command, we can get the information of the audio file that we are going to use. Let's evaluate this section. Okay, here we get the information of our file. One of the most important thing is the sample rate. You can see that this file has been sampled in 48 kilohertz and it has a total samples of 352,255 and its duration is 7.3 seconds and this is the bitrate. Now let's use the audio read command to import the file. When you use the audio read command, you are going to get the time series here it's y and you are going to get the sampling frequency which was 48 kilohertz let's evaluate this selection okay you can see in the workspace that we have our time series y which has rows of 352,255 and it has two columns this is because it has two channels but we are going to be deleting one of the columns we don't need it and you can see the fs which is for sampling frequency now let's see the waveform of this okay so this is our time series this is our voice signal you can see that in the beginning and in the end we don't have that voice signal actually this section is the mouse click that i'm using in order to stop the voice recording we are going to trim these sections in a while so let's see those but first let's use the audio player and the play commands in order to hear the sound in matlab in this video we are going to be playing with the sound files in matlab and as i said previously we are going to drop down from two channels to one because they are identical so if we double click on y you can see that they have the same values in the first and the second column. So we don't need them twice. So let's execute this line. And now we have our Y2 signal, which has only one column. And now we are going to trim the beginning and the end. So if we look in the diagram, it's around 92,000 and in between 270,000. So we can use this section only. So we create a new time series, Y2 trim. Let's execute this one. And now we have this Y2 trim, which has 178,001. And let's plot this new time series. You can see that we have trimmed the beginning section and the end section and play this trim signal this time in this video we are going to be playing with the sound files in MATLAB as you heard the speech starts immediately as we evaluate the section and in this section we can increase the amplitude actually we are multiplying the time series by four and then we can listen to it however I won't be executing this selection because it may cause a problem if you are using an earphone while watching this video. So, but you can try it for yourself. So we know that our signal was sampled in 48 kilohertz. But what happens if we try to play the same signal with a lower sampling frequency, let's say 40 kilohertz. So let's try that. In this video, we are going to be playing with the sound files in MATLAB. As you heard, the sound was as if it was in slow motion. However, what we did was to tell MATLAB that this time series is sampled in 40 kilohertz. So it took 40,000 samples and played it in one second. So that's why we hear it as if it was in slow motion. Now let's try the opposite and use 56 kilohertz as the sampling frequency. 
In this video, we are going to be playing with the sound files in MATLAB. This time, you heard that it was like increasing the speed of the voice. Now we are going to use a different command, flip upside down, which is going to change the places of the rows. It's going to reverse it, so we'll have the last row in the beginning and etc. So it's going to be flipped upside down. So let's see how that looks like. So actually this is the beginning of our speech and this is the end of our speech. So it was reversed. And let's play it. Okay, so we don't understand that thing, right? So because it was reversed. Now let's try to add some delay to our signal. We'll have to make several operations for that. So first we are going to create a new matrix. We name it shifted white to trim. So it's going to be consisted of 200,000 zeros in the beginning and one column only. So the delay that we are going to get will be 200,000 minus 178,001, which was the original signal that we had trimmed. So if you would like to calculate how much delay you are going to get, you are going to subtract 178,000 from 200,000 and you are going to divide that by 48,000, which is our sampling frequency. And the result is going to be the delay that you'll get. And in this line, what we are doing is we are assigning the Y2 trim time series to the end of the shifted Y2 trim time series. So let's execute these sections and see the shifted signal. So you can see that we have this time gap. And now we again create a new time series, which is consisted of 200,000 rows. And this time we are going to assign our original signal Y2 trim to the beginning side of it. And then we are going to add it with itself and with the shifted signal so that we are going to get the delayed signal. So let's see this. Okay, so we have actually our original trim signal starting from the beginning and after some delay, it's going to be added to the original signal. So when we hear that, you are going to see how that delay is going to occur. In this video, in this we, video are we are going playing to be with playing sound with files sound in files MATLAB. MATLAB. So as you heard, we got this delay on our original signal. In this video, we made some simple modifications to our original sound signal. We have played it in decreased speed, in increased speed, we reversed its order, and we added a delay.